to the Pokemon Daycare Center. How can I help you with your Pokemon today? Hey, is this where you uh, breed the Pokemons? Oh, Pokemon. It's both a singular and plural noun. Isn't that amazing? Pokemon. Yeah, right. Okay, I've got a few Pokemon uh, and I want to breed them. We can certainly help you with that. We love breeding all kinds of Pokemon here. Hmm. such a beautiful one as well. That's rare. What are you going to breed it with? Geodude, Glally, oh, Probabus! Boo! Oh, it's a, um, uh, It's Mr. Mime. It's Mr. Mime. Look at him go! I'm sorry, Mr. Mime and Onyx aren't compatible. Have you tried? No, but, you know, it's just... How do you know they're not compatible if you haven't, like, tried? Well, they're completely different types of Pokemon. One's a ground rock type, and the other one is a, um... It's a mime. It's a bit speciesist, don't you think? No, it's just the facts. I'm sorry, I don't think this is in the best interest of your Pokemon. No, I asked him, he was, he's into it. He's really into it. I was like, hey, Mr. Mime, do you want to breed with the Onyx? And he was like, mm, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. See? Also, it's a bit weird. He's a mime, so he shouldn't be able to talk, but he says his name because he's a Pokemon. You can't breed these Pokemon. Why? Because that is a giant rock snake monster, and this is clearly just a regular man. He's not a Pokemon, he's just a man. You can be a man and a Pokemon, and an artist. Who are you to define his identity? He's Mr. Mime. Plus, these two are in love. They love each other, and it is a deep, heartfelt, beautiful, gross Pokemon love. Who are you to get in the way of that? How dare you? How very dare you? I'm sorry. I've forgotten what Pokemon's about. Friendship and love. Yeah, love. Follow me, Flay. Thank you. Can I film this? 